Final score, Manchester United 2, Southampton 0. We're here with Dylan, new look Dylan, with uh, new hair and hipster glasses. <laughs> you don't need those glasses, do you, really? <laughs> I'm, bli I'm blind without the glasses, I swear to God. Right, uh, so, the game, I'm assuming. Um, it was a good game, I thought. I, qu I quite enjoyed it. It's uh, That's the best I've seen Old Trafford for quite a while. Like It was buzzing f throughout, sort of, from the first minute till the last, sort of, when Zlatan scored, it just exploded. His song was ringing out all day. I thought Pogba looked pretty, pretty good, you know, for his first game. He, what did we sign him on for? Last Tuesday or something, and then so he's had maybe a week and a half to sort of get embedded. And I thought he, he played the full game, didn't he, Pogba? He played the full thing. So I thought for a player that's just arrived, he, he, he gave a really good account. Yeah, he did look, he did look pretty fit, didn't he? Like, uh, you know, like right, ready to, ready for action. He really, uh, he, I think in the first half you could see a few, new, a few nerves from him because obviously because he's. 80 million, 89 million pounds. It's natural, isn't it? Human instinct. Exactly, but in the second half, I thought you saw him grow into the game a lot more. He kept, he, he was getting the ball into his feet and he was going on them powerful runs that you might have seen him doing. He, he looked like sort of an extra sort of level to the midfield. So sort of he could pick up the ball and he could drive at them, which is something I, I don't really think we had. Can I just say, Marouane Fellaini was absolutely superb today. Uh, without him, I don't think Pogba would have been able to do what he did. So. Hats off to Marouane Fellaini. Yeah, they did complement each other quite well, didn't they? Definitely. I, th I think t today, other than sort of last time popping up with the goals, I thought Fellaini was probably the most influential player on the pitch. I thought he was honestly absolutely brilliant. I think ag again Rooney was a bit here, there, and everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you think that like it's, it's, this is the thing about Rooney? It's like he can kind of like do like nothing for like a lot of the game, but then like you know one or two like decent touches or passes and. Yeah, he's just, he's just in there, isn't he? It's, it's just, it, it, he doesn't, he never seems to really sort of grab hold of a game anymore, does he? He doesn't sort of, he used to be able to sort of get hold of a game and take it and win it nearly on his own. And now he, he's just not capable of doing that. There was one moment, he got it right in our, our own left-hand corner and you, th there was a massive counter on. And you was like, this is the one ball you know Wayne Rooney can play. No one can play this ball like Wayne Rooney. It was a massive diagonal out to Mickey Sarian. And he went to play it, and he just flops it. It, it kind of ended up floating on the halfway line somewhere, rather than going sort of diagonal and sort of powerful. Like, like you've seen Rooney play that ball. You probably got annoyed at Rooney playing that ball a lot. Sometimes he plays it when he doesn't need to. But th this time, it, it, you thought this was Rooney's moment. This is the this is the Wayne Rooney Hollywood pass. This is the one. And he just <laughs> he just he failed it. And I think that kind of sums him up at the moment. He's, he's got the right idea. He's just not being able to execute it properly. Yeah, you know, we're outside Old Trafford, it's Friday night. What's your thoughts on the Friday night football thing? I'm not a fan of it. It's, it's a bit of a rush getting home from from work, getting sort of freshening up and then getting all the way down it. And I live in Manchester, so never mind anyone who lives who lives anywhere else. I f for, for a Friday night, it was it was very full tonight, actually. I hats off to everyone who came, because people are coming. Southampton, I had, oh had a, bit, a bit far to travel. I'd, I'd have been a bit wary after the Bournemouth fiasco last, <laughs> the Bournemouth fiasco last season. But <laughs> so check me on the doors today, lads. Yeah, ev everyone else has forgotten about the Bournemouth fiasco. I haven't. I still feel sorry for them. Fucking, but yeah, and we turned them over first day of the season. They must hate us, honestly. But yeah, I f the Southampton fans have had a nice day out. They can either choose to stay in Manchester, but I'm not a fan of of the Friday night football, keep it to the weekends, maybe the occasional Monday. Yeah. But what do you say that with, with, with us being in the Europa League? I can't see that there won't be very many uh, more Friday nights for us. Uh, it's it's going to be a Thursday combination, so Thursday Sunday combination from uh, here on forward. I think you know. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the Thursday Sunday either because it, it, it <laughs> I know I'm always negative on here, but I've got to, I've got to say what's true. When you play Thursday Sunday, you're you're three points behind everyone all the time. And it's it, it's not good playing catch up f for the major part of the season. Like, say we are in the title race at the end of the season, which I'm hoping we will be. I don't want to keep me three points behind City or Chelsea or Arsenal or whoever we're up there against. Leicester, God knows, whoever we're up there against. I don't want to be three points behind them all the time. So, being in the Europa League, yeah, it's it's nice. It's, it's you'll get a few nice European trips. You'll, you'll end up in the back end of Europe. God knows where, somewhere in Azerbaijan or. So I'm looking on. forward to that, quite frankly. But <laughs> if I can get a ticket, I'd, I'll go. It'll be expensive, right? Like, but I'd, I'll go. It's it's somewhere you'll never go again. But yeah, it's yeah. that's the thing about Euro away. Is it you, you go somewhere where uh, you wouldn't necessarily go on holiday. Yeah, I'd love to go to the final as well because Sweden. I know you've been to Sweden. You oh. thoroughly enjoyed Sweden, <laughs> didn't you? But, uh, I'm in love with Sweden. <laughs> and the girls in Sweden, I believe. 
let's see. <laughs> let's not get it twisted. <laughs> but yeah, I'd, I'd love to get to the final in Sweden if we do manage to get there. I know it's early doors for that yet, but it'd be a brilliant sort of climax, wouldn't it? Get into Sweden and then having fun.